I gotta raise my cup to you guys. You guys sent some awesome model railroads in this time for the virtual model train show. Let's go ahead and just hop right into it. Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. I'm drinking a locally roasted coffee from Tanzania today, and this is Coffee and Trains. This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. These videos would not be possible without them, and if you'd like to join the Patreon community, you can follow the link in the description below and join for as little as $1 a month. All right, guys, let's hop right into it with our first railroad of the day. And this is actually from a young man named Caleb Sanderson. Check this thing out. Caleb Sanderson is 18 years old. So all of you guys that have been looking for those younger model railroads, wondering where they are, here's one of them right here. And he's done a great job. And if that railroad looked familiar at all, that is because it is kind of patterned off of MRR1, which is the product railroad that I built. He sent me a clip in here. Check out those weathered uh, cars right there, those hopper cars. Those look absolutely fantastic. So great job, Caleb. Let's go ahead and hop back into some more of the photos. Take a look at some of these. Check out Parked at This Industry right here using some Kato Unitrack and just looks phenomenal. Got a little scene right here with some guys playing basketball in the street. Got another one right here. Just some great detail, especially for in scale. And you know, of course, I'm going to love that Norfolk Southern locomotive right there. But I just wanted to say, great job, Caleb. I mean, look at this. I love this, the graffiti on this water tower. That is classic. I love that, Caleb. And also, here's another overview shot of this. Looks really great. Great job, Caleb. Caleb. All right, let's hop into our next one. Some of you may know him as Jason, but many of you probably know him as the train freak. Great guy. Love seeing the stuff that he's doing. So let's take a look at what he sent in. So here's an overview of what he is building. His layout is under construction. We'll get a little bit of a closer view of that right here. And you can see he's got a lot of stuff going on here. It looks really, really great. I know he does a lot of work with his son on his railroad. So just another thing. Thing where it's just highlighting how awesome it is to make this a family hobby. Let's take a look at some more of these photos. Love these locomotives right here. This is really one of my favorite eras, the transitional era, but I love these little vignettes like this. They look really, really great. And here's a wide shot of this town scene. And before we take a look at the close up, let's take a let's just look at this. He's got a little cab board that you can kind of see right there, but we're going to show that town scene a little bit closer up in a minute. You're not going to believe it, but I love this little vignette as well. Sometimes it's really hard to get those those dirt lots like that right. And this one just looks very realistic. So great job, Jason, on that. And here's a close-up of that town that he is working on. And it does not look the same. That looks way deeper. I know that part of, part of that is the photography, but... I just want to say great job, Jason. This looks absolutely fantastic. Love those two locomotives right there. Good job, man. It looks really, really awesome. Okay, let's hop into our next one. Dick Wisbaum, who has done something that I really haven't shown in the past because no one's really sent this in, but it's really, really cool. And what that is is basically he has pictures of a progression of his model railroad. Now this photo is back from 2018. You can see it's under construction, got some track work down, and this looks really, really good. And it looks like a little switching layout, but it's going to continue to grow. Now we're going to fast forward to 2020, and you can see that he has a lot of scenery in place, and he's got a lot of work done on it, and it looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and hop into 2021, and you can see now that he is building an expansion to this railroad so seeing this layout under construction is just really really cool let's go ahead and hop into another photo from 20 from later on in 2021 and you can see he started getting a tunnel built right here so doing just some more fantastic work and then last but not least let's look at one of the more current
current pictures right here getting some road bed and ballast down you can see the expansion right there so great job dick i really really love these photos i love showing the progression a lot of people don't necessarily show that so um, when they send in their photos so if you have photos that you've taken of your layout under construction go ahead and feel free to send those in and show the progression as well so great job dick i'm really really i really digging that so next up we have john buckley and check this layout out i don't even think this is the whole thing it's pretty big right there look at that john buckley's been working on this you can see it keeps going off camera this is a great basement empire in the making right here let's go ahead and take a look at some more photos we've got one that's a little bit closer right here you can see a little bit more of the scenery there on the side looks really really great great job john let's take a look at some more photos we can look right here it looks like definitely more of a switching layout versus a continuous running layout i don't think it has a continuous running uh partition but you can see he's going to be putting in some nicer back Backdrops. He's got some silos right here. He's got some industries. Um, it looks like some of them are scratch built and some of them are kits. So good mix of things right there. And you can see right here where he's got some definitely some more finished scenery. And that looks absolutely fantastic. I love the uh, Merchant's Row right there with the town. And this really shows you you can do a lot in not a lot of space. Because that's not really that wide of a scene. So he's got a lot in there. So great job, John. Let's take a look at one more photo. You can see I got a little, there's a little engine shed. Looks like we have uh, like a switch panel. And you can see he's running Digitrax because there's a Digitrax item right there. But great job really really digging it so before we get into more let's go ahead and talk about some of the coffees that you guys are drinking ray bobel or babel sorry if i get that wrong is drinking a nantucket blend out of his keurig sounds great rail fan man says that he is drinking folgers medium brew with some sugar and a splash of milk sounds absolutely awesome rail fan and model railroader 56 once again drinking folders i think that's the most popular coffee on this uh in this fandom right now so thank you guys so much for sending that in if you want to let me know what coffee you're drinking might be featured you can leave that in the comments below all right last but not least the one you guys saw in the thumbnail jonathan robust sent us this one and it is just so cool can you believe look how tiny that is that is just so neat i want to go find one and build it so uh this is what he said he's like he's making two layouts actually that we're going to show some pictures of and uh these are pre-diorama board tgw or tisugawa uh pre-diorama boards they are an a4 size and magnetically connect to the base the first photo which you are seeing right here is an hoe E scale first for this channel um, Japanese forest under construction and the second is an N scale rural farm setting circa 1960s about 70% complete so let's go ahead and get into some more of those photos Jonathan these are awesome I just have to say that right now so here is the N scale one still same size looks so so cool I, I just can't get over it. It just looks so cool. There's the overhead. It's so tiny and so detailed. Like this is really proving that you don't need a ton of space to do model railroading because you can do stuff like this and it just, it's so neat. I can't get over like how cool this looks. I mean, this is just, you know, this is just model railroading it's at its finest right here because you don't have, you know, you don't have to have the ton of space to make something just really cool and really inspiring. And this is just the perfect example of this. And I think I have a picture of the, the raw board right here. Let's see if I can show that. Yeah, so this is what the raw board looks like. And then you can see you can pop it back on and then that's what they look like. And one of them is like, this is an in scale one. And then I believe that this one is the HO scale version. So these are just so, so cool. Thank you, Jonathan, for sending this in. It made my day to see this. So remember, you don't need a ton of space to enjoy model railroading. So thank you all for sending that in. If you want to send your model railroad in to be featured, I had a lot sent in uh, in the past couple months, so I'm pretty backed up, but I'm always looking to 
show more model railroads. So there's an email in the description below that you can email your photos to. Just remember to have an overall picture of your model railroad. If you can, it may be too big to have one single picture, but give me an overview picture so that you can see that. But thank you guys so, so much for sending these in. These are always so inspiring for me. And I learned something new like Jonathan's with the, uh, with the little diorama sets. Like that was really, really cool. So until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.